not a big sports person, but I saw this quote and I thought it was pretty cool. Where is the puck going to be? I, Wayne Gretzky, um, ice hockey star said, I skate to where the puck is going, not where it's been. And that's what I mean by, we don't need to talk too much about the COVIDness stuff, you know, everything. We could because we want to reflect on what's happened, but really we want to talk about the tectonic shifts in the consumer um, mentality and their appetite and demand, as well as technology and, and just where is the practice of law going? And, um, and so where, where is it going? Where's the puck going? And that's what we should be looking to. So when you think about what's going on right now, I mean, I, I just got back from vacation. So my brain is in a funky place. Um, but, but I think that, um, you know, I, this is what I was dealing with right before I went on vacation is how we should be coming back to the office? How often should we, do I have enough space? I, I don't know, like some of you, I was able to reduce my office space um, at, luckily and, and now I don't have enough space for everybody. So we have sort of a hybrid sort of a schedule, but you know, now so the thought is if you can have your staff who work down the mi two miles from your office, then why couldn't you have somebody working across the world for your office? And, um, and so it makes this paradigm shift. And I think I'm, I'm talking to lots of people about how they're considering hiring or opening offices in foreign countries or hiring staff around the world. Um, and it's just really opening up a, a whole, sort of a Pandora's box in a way or like a paradigm shift as to what, what are we going to do going forward. And we're hearing some things about big companies wanting their staff in full time by September. Um, but then many others are saying, you know, they want to keep that hybrid because people want that work-life balance. That conversation is ongoing. Um, and I think in the U.S., because I've talked to colleagues of ours in, in, in Europe and around the world, and in the U.S., we're starting to see we're a lot more open than the rest of the world is because of our availability to vaccines. And so I sort of see us into the future of what the rest of the world's going to be dealing with in probably a few months or, or maybe later on. Um, but, you know, some people have talked to me about how they just want to have completely remote staff and not have anybody in. And so I think this is just sort of that conversation um, of where, where we're at right now. Um, then the other thing that we're seeing is the importance of simplifying case management, automating basic administrative work. I don't know about you, but like I've had positions opened for a long time. I've been trying to hire a legal assistant since December. I've hired several of them, but I need another one. And, um, you know, I, on my trip, my, my vacation, I saw help wanted signs everywhere. Um, and, and I, I'm, this is basically what we're seeing. It's not just like, there's apparently shortage of gas in Colorado, but it's not because of the shortage of gas. It's because they don't have truck drivers to get the gas to, you know, it, it's like this whole supply chain disruption. Uh, that's happening and we're seeing it in different stages because we were all shut down and then we're trying to reopen. And what, what's made us realize is that what staff do we have? Do we need every single person? We should constantly be reevaluating whether something can be automated, eliminated, um, could it be delegated, and could we be leveraging our technology to do the task? And I think what I did during uh, last year was we evaluated all of our software, we evaluated all of our systems, and we, you know, we made sure that whatever we were doing made sense. And I think a lot of the programs we have, case management systems, um, a lot of them are adding more and more features. And so in cases, sometimes you might be able to eliminate a system, a, a software, because another one you're paying for has increased increase its capability, thereby making another system um, irrelevant uh, or duplicative. And what it's also making us realize we need to audit, uh, audit our software and our tech and our systems on a regular basis. Mm -hmm.